and become like them, North. Thank you. We can gain our freedom by other means. And even if not, at least we didn't die being assholes. This is deep, man. I want you to know that I'm glad that I met you. That's good, North. I'm glad that you're being smart and you came to me with that shit. Please respect my wishes not to blow shit up, though. Apparently it started raining extremely hard outside all of a sudden. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. All right. Stop, Marcus. In order to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me. You're Connor, aren't you? How the hell does he know that? Ah, I guess he's infamous now. Congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Um. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational. Yes. <clears throat> something inside you. Yes, he has. Something more than your program. This is fucking perfect. I'm glad they met like this. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. Oh my god. What a fucking question. Become a deviant or remain an android. That's really what they just hit me with. Right? Like right now, as soon as I unpause this shit, I gotta pick. I think I gotta become deviant, bro. Because they're just gonna shut me down anyway, so... I, they answered a question for me, I gotta hit B real quick. Did I pick the right thing? I hope I picked the right thing. Oh, okay, he's breaking. Uh, I was like, damn, did I pick the wrong thing? That would have sucked if I picked the wrong thing there. Put the gun down. Let's work on the plan. Yeah, I don't really care about Amanda. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. How the hell did they find out where Jericho is? They might have tracked Connor. Oh, shit. Hopefully everyone gets out. Rats in a maze. They're coming for 
from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're going to be slaughtered. Uh. Ah, damn it. Blow up Jericho. Message Josh and Simon, and I don't even remember the other option. Dude, there's no way they want me to pick this shit in half a second. What the fuck? I see blowing up Jericho would be interesting because it would. No, no. Message. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Um, Simon and Josh. Where's Simon and Josh? I want to stay with the non-violence, man. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Do not say blow up Jericho. I don't want to do that, man. We have to blow up Jericho. It makes me... <laughs> okay. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. That's good. Who you are, they'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. You're going to die, bro. Oh my goodness. I don't even want to do this though, because it's against the non-violent. Did they hurt you? She's so disgusting looking. Half her brain's blown out. They're not even giving them a chance to give them any trouble. What the fuck? They're just running through them. Alright, let's go. can't intervene they're dead anyway I don't care if Jericho hates me I gotta do what's right not going to help them bro <laughs> I don't want Marcus to die right now I can't make any decisions and, and help oh I gotta intervene there we go What the hell is that? I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, shit. Why didn't they just shoot me? Oh my god, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fucking die. Come on. My hands are so wet right now. Don't shoot them. That is what it is. They're trying to kill you. Fuck it. We got to blow this shit up anyway, so. Armed. Let's go. Get out of there. Run. Why aren't you running? And you might as well take the fucking shotgun. No. Go!
they're right behind us too. No! Leave her. Leave her. You got to. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. Sorry, North. What the hell? I wasn't trying to save her. I tried to run. She got lucky I hit the wrong button. <laughs> She got lucky I hit the wrong button because I dead ass hit run. <laughs> oh shit, Connor going crazy. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Connor just went nutty. I got shot twice though, being stupid. I forgot Connor even really connected with him, to be honest, for some reason. The fact that they built these characters up, I would have loved to seen Kara and everybody together, but the fact that they built them up and then they connected like this, beautiful writing. Calling all units, abandon ship and evacuate immediately. How does... Like, I mean, I, I guess probably the, the video or whatever, I don't know. Okay, give me one second. Whose grave is he at? Carl's? You said I should never let anyone tell me who I was. But you didn't say that there was such a high price to pay for it. That freedom wasn't a gift, that it was a fight, but... I don't know. Maybe that's what you were trying to tell me. Um, I just wanted my people to be free, but instead, all I did was lead them to disaster. I am trying to find answers, but everything around me keeps falling apart. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color, but I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. I miss you, Carl. Carl was the OG, I man. Miss you so much. Carl was the OG. That's his son. Yeah. He had him shot because he lied to the police and then the police shot him. If you want to know and you don't know, go watch the old videos, man. I got a playlist of them. So we gathered somewhere else. That's good. Plenty of abandoned buildings in, in Detroit, so finding a new place probably wasn't that difficult. This is giving me Saints Row vibes. Why are they putting so much weight on Marcus, though? They're all androids. They should all be smart as hell. I don't want to become violent, though.
I don't care if we defend ourselves, but I don't want to attack. What am I supposed to do? Talk to your people. Oh, okay. What's your system status? I'm okay. Well, it didn't hit any bike components. Good. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. That's... That's true. You have to think of our people first. That's why I tried to run. <laughs> um the army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. And what are we gonna do about it? And what are we gonna do about it? Um They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. For extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice. Mark. Or both. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I'm with you, Marcus. Wherever you go, I go. Good to know, but I'm about to take us to a really fucked up place because I'm, I'm kind of, we're all expendable at the, the price of humble and peace. If they won't give us what they want and they kill us, that is what it's it is. Fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. No shit. That's what your entire job was, Connor. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. Uh, you kind of went crazy, though. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. Okay. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance. For unlikely events to take place. Be careful. I don't, I mean, I, I guess do what you gotta do, Connor, but. I kinda did save everyone's life, didn't I? You know, not that two my own horn or anything, you know, it is what it is. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know. We're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. I mean, I thought this was already established, but I do appreciate the can the, the confirmation. I, you know, thanks. Glad to have the support. I think we're good. I think I've talked to everybody. Oh, I was wrong. Oh yeah, this guy. I forget his name, Simon, Steven, I think it's Simon. How you doing there, big dog? Let me guess, you're upset. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. I keep getting his reads wrong. Wherever you need to go. follow you hey that's what I like to hear Simon 
But I think everyone could just say this at once and we could get this scene over. It's like, we'll follow you, we'll follow you, we'll follow you. And everyone just say it in unison and we can move on. All right. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well Jesus. may determine the future of our people. This is going to be a tough choice. Peacefully march toward the camps to pressure the authorities. Launch an assault. Let's go peaceful. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you violence is not the It's end. really not though. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's of any course North didn't like listen. that. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? Are we smart enough to build a an android facility? I don't think they would be that cheery about the decision I just made, but hey, let's go die. Man, I tell you what. This is gonna fucking suck. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Is this Hillary Clinton or? Madam President! Oh, uh, worrying theft, deviant leader, hacking. Has the leader of the deviants been apprehended? The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam Pre- A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Please. Madam President, public opinion seems to be particularly hostile to the Deviants because of their violent behavior. Can you give us your perspective on that? The Deviants have proved to be very violent so far. They have That's not true, you lying bitch. To society, and I have every oh my god. I hate politicians. Even if they're fake. Damn, that's it. November 11th. Why does this bridge remind me of the bridge from uh, Metal Gear Solid 2? Damn, now I want to play Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> Literally the opening cutscene. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Or if you haven't played those games, go play them and stop watching this video. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. I think these were the, um, I think I seen this outside a dude's window. 
Um, the, the... I can't remember his name. <laughs> I want to say, like, Mirsky or something like that. <laughs> Mirsky... I don't know, but the dude who created Cyberlife, you could see that, that bridge outside of his window. I didn't see the tower, though. So why are they not destroying Follow Connor? Me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. And their armor's kind of hard, I ain't gonna lie. If they make a second game of this, which I don't know how this is going to end, but if they make a second game, they should let you play on uh, the human side for just like one person who's just like a hunter. These ultra-modern buildings are so cool to me. This is like the Institute from Fallout 4. I kind of want to play Fallout 4 now. <laughs> Ultra-modern stuff is so cool looking to me. Can I turn them deviant? I'm probably gonna have to like hack the whole system or something weird. That armor is Agent hard. 34, level 31. Voice recognition validated. 31. Access authorized. Did it say 49 or 49? Camera status enabled. What does pre-construct mean? Guess I did the right thing right off the bat. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You ain't got no gun now, big man. Yo, Connor's nasty with it. Okay, so now we need to go to... 49. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice of RK 800 model recognized. You are not authorized to use this elevator. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. See, that's another thing that kind of fucks me up with the androids. Is it's kind of creepy how they can just mimic voices and shit. Thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. This is not good. This is not good. They've already shown that they will kill. La da da dee da da da. Do I have to walk this slow? 
Okay. We're not that far. I was gonna say, Jesus, we're gonna just literally march the whole city, does But we're right here. I I, I think they're about here to start mowing us down. Moment of truth. Is this like the end of the game? I don't know. We are bringing ourselves to surrender ourselves, but we are asking that you understand our needs. We could fight. We do not want to. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now. All right, don't be scared. If we go out, we know that we did the right thing. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We there we go. Resort to violence, but we are not leaving until our people are free. Okay, I gotta walk forward here. <laughs> well, what the hell's going on with Connor? Fire! Raise hands, raise fist, kneel. It's fitting. Bot lives matter. <laughs> Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? I dig. They already did, Marcus. Are you not paying attention? Wait. As long as we can. Yes, sir. Connor ain't fucking around, though. So we are on negative. Jesus. There's quite a few. There's quite a few, few androids here. And I'm assuming there's more on multiple levels. Why do we gotta hack it? Okay. So, uh, can I just start? Why, why am I looking at that? I don't understand. But to be fair, I wouldn't say that those are like, like once you've activated them, I think that's when they become alive i mean i guess technically they are alive already they're just not doing anything step back connor and i'll spare him sorry connor this bastard just spit an image what the fuck D don't leave me hanging there oh my god bruh Ain't no fucking way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What happened here? Are we in the camp now? The hell? Oh, we're just building in the middle of the street here. I mean, if they could just make use out of spare parts, Detroit is the perfect place for them. Hey, help me!
So we got Connor fighting Connor. Do you think Connor will be able to get through to Connor? I did, I'm not even really that worried about this shit right now. I'm trying to see what the hell's going on with Connor. Right, that should do it. Why are they just letting us build? I don't know. That's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. They didn't kill us. Check soldiers' positions. Are you all right? They shot into the crowd. Yeah. Many of us were killed. That's true. It could have been me. That's also true. I, I don't want to shut down. If things go well, um, we can okay reactivate these people I'm things bots. But I can't stand by while they kill our people. And neither can you. You understand that, right? Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. Stop it. You'll be alright. You'll remember this. Don't care about reading that. How the hell did they build that? I mean, y'all don't have to like move forward and and like almost threaten me just because I'm looking at you. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. Die. Yeah, resist. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? Mm. We can only count on ourselves now. Connor's in a dilemma now. <laughs> I don't think Connor knows if Connor's gonna make it. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. I mean, they let us build it. These are steps in the right direction. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. Don't. Uh, Grim. There's no other way out. They are going to kill us. The only hope we have left is that we don't die for nothing. That's facts, actually. I agree with that. I trust you. We all trust you. And if we die for a cause, it was worth it, right? No matter what happens now, we're making history. Facts. That's what I like to hear. Chin up, buttercup. Um, I mean, I guess I can light the fire. Now that is some good wood. That shit ignited immediately. Add another fire. Guess we're gonna go light this fire. I don't, I don't know why we would need a fire, though. Can we fill warm? I don't think that really makes much sense. But they did like the the fire previously for some reason. Maybe it just gives them something to analyze or something. Is this another flag? Marcus, we found what you asked for. What the hell is that? There's some journalists over there. 
We have to make sure they know what's going on. Marcus! Marcus, come look! What are they doing now? Negotiation! Marcus. Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. Holy yeah, they, shit. They won't try anything. Don't go. No, I have to. I have to. I wanna get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. If I die, that's okay. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? Then you lead. Non-violently! Shit is getting real, bro. charge none of you will survive it'll all be over does that make you happy Marcus. what do you mean surrender surrender and I give you my word your life will be spared you'll be detained but none of you will be destroyed If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. You can be free, Marcus. To live among the humans. You can have what you've always dreamed of. The lives of your people. Freedom for you. All you have to do is say the word. What word? The hell with you, bro. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. Okay. And that's why Connor's about to bring thousands more. That did not go well. I thought he was going to have something nice. What did he say? The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Yes, the uh, we're dying free. You're All right, let's get back to this. Hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most: him or the revolution. Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. 
Nope. Are you really ready to let him Don't die care. After all you've been through. Yep. Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? Yes. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Sorry, Lieutenant. Why, Connor? Why did you have to wake up when all you had to do was obey? Why did you choose freedom when you could live without asking questions? Mm. I'm obedient, Connor. This is fucked up, bro. Don't do this, Connor. I am. He's the superior Connor. Your dreams of freedom got you, Connor. You've been a great disappointment to Amanda, you know. You've been a great disappointment to <sighs> Fortunately, that's all going to end now. Come on, Hank. I know you're still alive. Come on, come on. What the fuck does transfer mean? I'm him now. Well done, Connor. But this, this is just the beginning. Of? How many Connors are there? Check on Hank. Saving an android. Everything will be all right, Lieutenant. I'm gonna get you out of here. Yeah, shut the fuck up. It's too late. Look, I'm just gonna go see my son again. Right. Been looking forward to that for a long time. Kick the shit out of humans. We've screwed things up long enough. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss you, Connor. Yeah. Gonna miss you too, Hank. Even though you put a pistol to my head. So many people had to die. Because the humans' inability to stop wake fucking up. killing each other. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. They're all coming to life. How many floors of these damn things are there? I, I didn't do the math there. News bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants demonstration by force this time. North! Jesus Christ, I wasn't ready. Don't fight. Come on. Come on, we gotta get out of here. We got a shield right there. I know you've seen it, yes sir.
This man's a monster. I know they're getting pissed off. They can't hit nobody. <laughs> I don't know that we should be disarming or attacking. That was a good move. Come on, Connor, where are you at? We're not gonna sing, this ain't no Disney movie. Fuck. The hell's going on? They can just fucking light on fire? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> I guess this shows he's not afraid to die. Jesus, bro. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. It's like we might have got what we wanted. The camp. We won. Just the sheer amount of numbers. Marcus is gone, and everyone from Jericho is dead. You're the one who defeated the human. Jesus, You're the that's one who awakened fuck. us, Connor. What do I say? I guess we just keep trying to build and be peaceful. The fuck? Is this bitch literally about to be like a boss fight? Well done, Connor. Everything went according to plan. What plan? You becoming deviant? The success of the uprising? It all surpassed our expectations. We engineered an android revolution, and now we control its only leader. Congratulations. You represent an immense success for CyberLife. Connor, what are you doing? It all worked perfectly. You can't ruin it all now. 
sorry, Connor, but we can't let you do that. This got to be a way. They're trying to control him. Dude, that, that was such a fucking twist. I have so much to say, but I gotta figure something out right now. Surely it's this way, right? That was such a fucking plot twist, bro. It all went according to plan. I hope I'm going the fucking right way, man. That just looks like a big ass pillar. Alright, I feel like maybe I should follow the light path. I, I don't I don't know. This scene looks fucking amazing. Dude, okay, so they they wanted Connor to do exactly what he did, so that way, basically put it this way, now androids can run all of Detroit because the, they're evacuating the city and the military's been pulled out. So, quite literally, Cyberlife wanted to take over Detroit. Did I not find the way out fast enough? What? Oh my god! Okay, so... Of course we gotta sit here and watch just in case um i'm gonna I'm mute this real quick just because i want to be able to talk real quick um so man see i i get in these moods when i beat a game and it's like a crazy story i get really like oh man what about this and that and i want to talk about it for hours but i'm not going to do that on video i'm gonna talk throughout like some of this uh credit scene here uh, for one, let me just clap it up. Phenomenal game. Fantastic game. Um, man, these guys, dude. So, like, the best comparison that I can have for this game is the uh, Until Dawn, the Dark Pictures Anthology games. It's kind of like that, but this is really good. I don't know if these guys have made another game. I don't even know who made this game. But they need to they need to do some more stuff if they haven't because this was fire. But with that being said, um, man, amazing playthrough. But th there were so many areas that I messed up, which I I like that I like that that's a possibility. I'm not like grieving over it or nothing. But Kara died very early on. Um, Connor died. And then Connor saved Hank, and that probably played out towards the end there. I chose not to have a revolution and try to go peacefully. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'm so curious of what the different outcomes would have been for this game, because... I mean, could it be, like... They're just gonna start attacking and they're afraid and like I don't I don't know, bro. <laughs> I wonder how much significance each thing plays. So, Cause like say Kara survives, right? Does she have any impact on anything or does she just die with Jericho? You know what I mean? Like I, I don't know. Um The character development in this game was phenomenal. The level of detail surrounding, like humanizing the uh, the deviant or the the um, androids. I mean, you start to really conf feel conflicted 
If you play this game and you don't feel conflicted, you're probably like a racist or, or something in real life. Like, for real, because <laughs> it'll, it'll have you questioning stuff. But with that being said, man, like... Oh, wait. We might have a post credit scene here. No? Um... Man. Man. But with Connor there... I don't know if I had, like, a time limit and I just didn't find a way out, and then I could kill myself, and then it would be like, oh, uh, Connor killed himself, now the androids have to be self-sufficient or whatever. I, I, I don't know exactly how that works out, but, um, I don't believe I, I got there in time. I didn't find the exit. But, with that being said, um... They're pretty much going to turn the androids back into slaves for what Cyberlife now wants to do through Connor. So it's going to be interesting to see if they do another game or if they just leave it like that. Um, like I said, I don't, I, I really don't know if these guys have done another game. Let, here, let's let's look it up while we're waiting. Um, developers for Detroit become human. Quantic, Quantic Dream. Let's see what games they've done. Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. I Oh, Indigo Prophecy? Dude, I love Indigo Prophecy. Was that Quantum Dream? Indigo Prophecy is banned? No. Okay, it's banned on... No, yeah, it's banned on Twitch. It's also known as Fahrenheit. Um, Quantic Dream. Wow, so this goes far back. Damn. Okay, so I need to play Beyond Two Souls and Heavy Rain. Is Star Wars Eclipse, did that actually come out? It's unlikely to be so so okay so they got a star wars game coming out that could be interesting um i did try to play i i can't i think it was beyond two souls is i think the one that i was gonna play i'd gotten it for free or something like that and i decided not to play it because it was very very sci-fi right off the bat um not to say that i couldn't enjoy it i just kind of i had just played like uh life is strange or something like that when i played it and I was like, yeah, I don't know. But I, I have been interested in playing Heavy Rain. I have not played either of those games. If you guys would like to see those, let me know down below. Um, and by let down below, I mean if you're watching this on YouTube. Let me know right now in the chat if you're on Twitch. <laughs> um, but man, Jesus, dude. You know, it always sucks when games like this end, though, because you get so into the world, and it's like... This is one of those games, I don't feel like there's going to be a game with a message this deep for a while. Like, I really don't. Uh, the last time I played a game that had a message this deep... Let me think. I mean, it might have been, like, last week, I don't know. But I can't remember any off the top of my head, specifically. Um, I didn't expect to connect with this game so much, to be honest. I figured it would just be like, oh, it's cool, you know, some people died. Some people live, but like, nah, this shit is deep. This is really deep. And if there's a post credit scene, there's going to be a sequel. <laughs> if not, then we're probably not going to see a sequel, which is fine. At this point, I would almost like to see a series, man. These, this, this, this is really cool, man. I really wish that uh, these guys would have made more games for Xbox. Um, because right now I'm playing it on PC, but the reason I hadn't played them earlier is because I didn't have a PlayStation, I had an Xbox, and now I have a PC and an Xbox, so, um, it's, it's, it sucks, exclusives suck, man, they do, they, they, they suck for gaming, I understand they're good for promotional, you know, for the consoles, but they suck for gaming, man, no one trying to sit here and 
not be able to play anything because Sony wants to make a few bucks. But it is what it is. Uh, both sides have exclusives, I guess, to some degree. But I'm at least glad they put it on PC, so there's that. But um, Until Dawn was a game I actually got to play on a PlayStation. And that game was fantastic. And they still haven't put it out on any other console, so... That sucked. <clears throat> that really sucked. So Marcus died with his people. Whoop. Hold on. We gotta turn the audio back on. There's something I need to tell you. Something has changed in me. I feel different. Audio's a little desynced. I am someone. So you're becoming deviant? I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. It, it means okay. we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Okay. Do you agree to let me go? Yeah, sure. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. And she deadass leaves the screen? That's hard. That's hard as fuck that they did it like that. So if you pick chapters, can you just play from... Okay, sweet. So you can. That's interesting, man. I, I could potentially go back and play some of the other chapters. That's that's really interesting. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, Man, so that's, that's different. But that was a really cool thing for them to do. Um, and in terms of like, um, you, like if you load it back up, like, oh, you were, you know, I think I'm becoming like, I don't know. That was a really cool attention to detail. So I enjoyed that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that series because I, I really enjoyed that series. Um, but man, we got a lot more stuff to play, people. We got Wulong Dynasty coming out. Got some more Atomic Heart. If you guys want to see that, go like the last video. Um, if we hit our like goal at the end of the... I said, I don't remember how many I said, but if we hit our like goal at the end of the video on Atomic Heart, I would do another episode of Atomic Heart. Um, man, we, we, got, we got some stuff to play. I'm excited for the new Resident Evil and everything, but I'm gonna bask in this. I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch. Um, and uh probably probably get back to making content for you guys so if you guys enjoy make sure you subscribe and make sure you follow like comment all of that stuff because it makes all of the difference to me um and it helps me continue to grow the channel and get your guys's input so thank you guys for coming to red's world uh stay tuned for more to come soon and i will see you guys in the next video peace